All right, so while we're waiting for these guys to join, let me take a look at uh, their record and all that good stuff. We have Veritas in the normal qualifier. They won against Rasta SGS. They lost against Rasta at once, and then they won against Undisclosed and Gzilla and G5. Um, first Cav, first Cav in uh, normal qualifier. Now I should say that they are first Cav Brink 71, and there's a first Cav Brink 72. So just to make things thoroughly confusing. It looks like we're going over to resort of all places. Kind of cool. I like it. Um, so uh, I, I'm calling that out because first Cav, they lost to kick two times. They won against um, Estrellas Gaming. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then they beat first Cav Brink 72. This is first Cav Brink 71, by the way. And uh, they, they won against Iverto and apparently there's a team called Thode. So good times, good times. Um, first Cav was pushed into the last chance qualifier and uh, so they lost against Undisclosed, they won against iGamers and Illumina Team. So good times all around. Uh, we are in and, and ready to go on this matchup. And oh, look at that, we're getting some connects. We have Veritas's roster shall be Jonesy Welsh, uh, Lolan. <laughs> um, let's see, Ezekiel, uh, Busymon, and Gera. First cab currently has Lambert, Infantor, and Muxy. Saber has joined, and Navka has joined for first cab. Resort and Terminal. Awesome, they already have it chosen. Okay, so first cab loadout we've got. Oh, right now it's just all three medics and a pair of engineers. Oh, that will probably change, but who knows. Um, Lambert, Infantor, Navka, Saber, and uh, Mutsi. We've got Veritas, Jonesy Welsh, Lawlin, Ezekiel, Busymon, and Gera. Uh, soldiers for Gera, paramedics for Ezekiel, Busymon, and paramedics for engineers, Jonesy Welsh, and Lawlin. Should be good times. Let them know that I'm all set. Uh, once again, just as a reminder, what you are watching, this is in fact the Electronic Sports League um, Brink 5v5 Championship. This is group stage play day number one. And uh, we're going to be covering all three play days. Um, this one, we got a little bit of a late coverage. Turns out your heart's doing Father's Day stuff, so that's why I don't have a co host, but that's all good because I don't like running my mouth, clearly. Uh, that being said, um, we will uh, definitely, we, we're loving what uh, ESL's put together. Um, quite a different rule set than what we've seen in North America, but I've played on the ESL e, e rules and I love them uh, more and more every time I play them. So um, they're, they, they do help with the double full, double full holds, I will say. This time it's going to be resistance on offense. That's Veritas r uh, running that role as we have a big fat uh, F3 orgasm as we go live in three, two, and one on resort, and uh, I'll sort of do an, an in-game tour of the map. It looks like we have a massive rush for the lower route. Look how they're using cover um, here. Ooh, ooh, actually, ooh, they're going straight into, um, uh, what is this, Hennessy again? Yeah, Hennessy, spelled funkily. Wow, they're going straight on the objective. Veritas just swarming it, trying to get the damage done. And they have at least three here. Down goes one. It looks like uh, Mutz is able to get a kill, but oh, they do have a plant within 28 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. 28 seconds. Veritas is planted. And holy shitballs, that is some scary shit. They are pushing out. They already have, let's see, first guy, first guy. And oh, yes, this is my spot right here. Jonesy pushing out, trying to get shots in the back of first cav as they just rush blindly towards the objective. Down goes Saber. And uh, can they get a defuse on this objective? I do not see it happening at all because Veritas, again, has also pushed up all the way up here. Jonesy Welsh is up top, uh, shutting down any chance to even get into the room. And even from Fashionista, we are seeing uh, Ezekiel hold things down. And we are on to the second objective. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a 28-second plant on objective number one. Here comes the bot. And wow, strangely silent. I turned off the music and I didn't realize how... Uh, Silent that made some of those cutscenes, but I'm okay with that. Um, that being said, we have, uh, let's see, ooh, Lambert setting up a mine, trying to pr basically protect the flank of this, this upper, um, this height advantage is really important, actually, right here, as the bot gets moved up. Um, but for now, 
take a look and see where the bot is. It's being uh, escorted by Lolan. I'm going to go find where the rest of Veritas is. Look at Jonesy. How far ahead he is. Holy crap. Looks like he went down, but... Yeah, Lambert having to reset his mind so far forward. Trying to protect himself. Um, pair of first cap on first level. Bot is just now approaching the second plant objective. This is a bridge you need to plant uh, a soldier's HE charge on. But now, of course, both teams can use this bot as cover. I'm going to see what the setup is for, for first cap. Looks like Veritas not being too over eager. Trying to clear things out first. Trying to get a kill on... Uh, looks like Nav will go down. Nade on his body. Able to be revived though, Nade was not good enough. Potential plant, yeah, there's Gera getting a plant in, and he will complete it, ladies and gentlemen. 17.30 on the clock. And uh, at this point, we wonder if this is a roll. That being said though, Veritas has gotten a pair of kills. Lambert able to pick up one of his own, but uh, not enough, and here come the revives. So, pretty solid. Let's see, the timing on this is 22 seconds, roughly. And we even have a command post capture. Here comes an engineer walking right up and with no cover at all. Somehow able to survive against Lal. I, I really dislike that. And yeah, down he goes. Big, uh, I think, mistake in my mind. It's just uh, three seconds left before we blow. Three, two, one. No real tap on uh, that bomb, so it will indeed explode back to the... Yeah, a lot of smiley faces coming in. Um, back to the bot escort. Problem here, though, is that no fire was ever like there was never any real uh, control of the uh, objective to the point where First Cav could actually stop the bot and take down its health. So, uh, bot is still able to be, be run. Gara setting up mines in the inner workings, this uh, back hallways here, trying to protect um, protect himself from any sort of front. As he pushes way forward, by the way. This is a really smart push forward. No idea what the fuck he's shooting at with this uh, camera being what it is. <laughs> let's go, let's go uh, free fly for a bit. Uh, yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of action around the bot, so really good job by Veritas to, to try to keep everything kind of forward facing uh, and well ahead of the objective itself. Caltrop's sitting out, they're gonna fade before they get there. Um, Let's take a look at everything. Looks like most things are happening kind of in the corridors. Just by looking at the names. Mine taking down Gera. Quick revive though. Saber gets the cue that his mine is or that the mine went down that he needs to uh, try to push in. Decides to go up against two and dies pretty horribly. Uh, a lot of action over here at the command post, it looks like. Jones he taking it now. And he's gonna be joined by Gera. So uh, really good tactic for this map. Push up really hard. Um, pretty much stop guys right about here. And, oh god, Gara is even going into the friggin' thing. Because the uh, the turrets do not see here. They, they cannot shoot you right here. So, um, you know, while, they, while they, they can peek at you right, uh, let's see, right over here. Yeah, you gotta be careful, right? But you can, you can basically take over this room. You can plant a friggin' mine right here. So if anyone takes this lower route, you're just blowing them in the face. Of course, there is an, I think, like an 8 second respawn shield, so if you don't do anything offensive, then I don't know, it's kind of silly, but that being said, Veritas now on the objective, they need to plant, and actually they're already, god damn, they're already halfway done with the hack, I should really pay attention to the objectives, usually you've got quite a bit of time, as there's a bit of a hold, they even have offensive turrets set up, uh, of course the operative cannot leave, cannot leave the, the whole room, but, uh, you know, you, you can move around a bit. Uh-oh, not checking his flank. Able to stay alive, just barely, though. Able to get some love from, uh, Jonesy. So, hacking in the corner, trying to survive. At about 80%, I would guess. Here comes Inventory, able to kill Jonesy. Also able to kill Ezekiel. So, massive push in order to try to recover this. But, of course, with no de-hacking, we are already at about 80%, roughly. And security still holds this. Jonesy with a Molotov. <laughs> just runs around the corner and throws it in the guy's face. Doesn't kill him, though. Back on the hack. This is going to be done in a few seconds. Infantor and Nav. Saber, no, excuse me. Saber coming in. 
misread that one. So, this is the first lull. Sadly, though, no fucking gives. Are they gonna really leave them up this entire time? Okay, down they go. They decide to respawn. So this is the first attempt that First Cab has had at all on any of these objectives to slow down the steam roll. I'm gonna hop out here and, and see, uh, yep, they've been able to clear the path to the objective. Jonesy, though, up over near the fountain, or whatever the hell this thing is, the blue tree, big blue tree, using cover pretty well. Not able to uh, keep him alive, though. Saber's able to get the kill and the get. Maybe I need to wait for the next one. The first guy getting three kills in a row. So, Veritas needing to reset a bit. Two-man uh, kind of split push. Yeah, you can see way off in the distance. Don't like that. They're just now pressing in. So, respawning. So, a bit of a mistake, I think, to have the split push. Here they come. Nice work by Jones. They're keeping the uh, higher ground here on the blue tree. Uh... I don't know what to call that. It seems like it should be a fountain. They should have made it a fountain so I could call it a fountain. Um, that being said, hack is going to probably be completed here. 80%, 90%. Oh, man, it's nearly done. Where's Ezekiel? I'm, I'm just missing. Oh, yeah. He's, he's hiding in his favorite little corner. Yeah, this is done. Three, two, one, I would guess. Don't actually have the percentage. That's a pretty good guess. Yes, we have the lab computer. All right. Now we can finally get help so from So time outside. set, I actually missed Good what that job, was. Good job, brothers! Shit. I, should, I keep forgetting that there is no friggin' time to beat on the scoreboard. It's really annoying. Why the hell they expected teams to be able to just know it in between rounds is dumb. But, uh, that's okay. Best overall, we've got Busymon, Best Soldier, Jonesy, Medic, Busy again, Engineer, uh, Lambert, operative, Ezekiel, of course, kills Jonesy, gets it done. Very solid. Let me sashay my ass over to the actual objective for the first round. There we go. All right, resistance spawning here. We flip sides. And uh, all set here, I say. I say, I say. And we might actually see this round finishing up in a decent amount of time. This is basically what it should be, folks. Hate to say it. Let's see what the time to beat actually is. Three, two, and one. And it is eight minutes and about 15 seconds. All right, massive push. And again, I I, I, I don't know if I, I like this. I really like getting that um, shop door done or pushing Hennessy first, which actually is what they end up doing anyway. So yeah, Veritas though, let's see how they're setting up, they're setting up in the objective room. They, they realize that it's very possible to sneak past and really press the uh, the the room extremely strongly right at the right at the opener. Oh my god, a plant. A stealth plant. Not able to get done, but oh he doesn't he doesn't try to force it. Instead he looks for an escape and runs right into uh, I think that was uh, perhaps Busymon, so. Now we have got mine set up. On the objective, everything is looking pretty good. Veritas set to hold, uh, potentially. I don't see the turret yet. I don't see where they put that down. This is why we're watching an engineer. Gara trying to pad his XP. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Alright. Top back out. See what uh, see what's going on for first cab in their attempts. Fashionista, of course, is another fabulous place to set up and look at women with really, really long necks for some reason. That being said, wow, that's a full spawn for first cab. That looks pretty painful. See what they can do uh, with this wave. They're not really together. Yeah, we've got a sniper back here. Um, humble opinion, massive soldier push. Push up, you get the command post, switch classes. Humble opinion. Works out pretty well. I mean, just imagine, if you will, four to five decent... Uh, I'd go four. Four soldiers, one medic. Uh, four decent flashbangs? Yeah, you can get that shit done. You can blind the hell out of your opponent and push up. So, that being said, looks like um, first cav is pushing around Fashionista. 
Let's try to stay with this push a little bit. I'm not getting too eager. They are waiting for that command post. Uh, Infantor is really giving away his position here. I would have liked to maybe stay behind cover that he can... Like, basically, oh, once he's... Well, he's going to get straight up shot, but once you leave here, you have no other cover options. So, don't know how I feel about that. And clearly they've got a decent sniper, Lal, sitting back here with his uh, own little sniper action. Getting it done. So first cav again, pretty solid respawn. We've got um, Infantor and Mutsi not getting the tip to friggin' respawn. So, got a split push. Wow, they're going solo each route. Oh. Don't like that. Don't like that. You need to have that support. And there we go. So Gara takes down somebody. Actually, uh, looks like the kill didn't happen before Gara. He got the damage in, though. Ezekiel. Able to get defensive revives. It's pretty much easy mode at this point. Uh, no hack at all on this lower door. So... Yeah, uh, a little bit concerned. I, I think we're going to be held here for the full seven minutes. As Veritas has this objective completely locked down. Very solid. Busy on showing up at just the right time to destroy Saber. Looks like Lambert was able to kill him, though. Nice little uh, action from Fashionista. Question is, how are they going to push in as a team? We have not really seen that from First Cab just yet. And uh, that is a, quite a missing ingredient. Here comes three from Fashion. One's already down. Revive coming in. No gip. Uh, it looks like it will be actually a TK. Uh, Mutsi killing off Lambert and Mutsi, though properly killing Jonesy Walsh. I'm gonna hop out to free fly and let's see if I can watch this particular push. Oh, what's left of it actually? Oh, just the one. So here, Nav should have just waited. Absolutely should have waited for his team. Because now, look at this. Had he waited, it could have been two guys pushing in at once. Instead, they come in in sequence. And so this is already a done push. Uh, again, Lambert should be dropping back, trying to find cover. Uh, he's about to die. Oh, excuse me. He's about to kill Ezekiel. But even so, no support. So, yeah, he got that kill. He might get the command post, but where's his team? Let's push back up to the objective. Veritas holding it down, holding it down. Hennessy plus whatever this green... I always forget the name of this one. Good. I guess it is. G-U-D. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Uh, next push is... Looks like Fashionista again, so... Uh-oh, flanking! Busymon just got busy with the back of the skulls of Mutsy and Saber. So down they go. Fantastic work there. No, that was actually uh, Lambert. Excuse me, but uh, really solid. That being said, Navka got revenge, but he's uh, he's uh, again alone. So Garrett waiting for uh, Navka to poke his head out. And two minutes left. I think we're going to be stuck at this initial objective. Nice nade, great uh, work there. That being said, Navka did get the kill on Garrett though. And yeah, Gara, right back up, able to get the kills. Minute 39. Let's go watch a little shoulder cam action. And let's go with perhaps, perhaps Mr. Jonesy. Yes, that will do. As he attempts to defend Fashionista pretty far forward here, but he's using cover extremely well. And wow, he's able to take down two. Lambert and Mootsy go down as well. <laughs> <laughs> Gets Lazarus in the face as long as sh as well as shot, of course. Getting shot hurts a lot more than the whole Lazarus part, but again here comes Ezekiel. 
and we cleared that out. So yeah, I don't think we've seen First Cav get into the room except for that one attempt of a plant. It wasn't even a solid... Um, you know, the guy came under fire, he wasn't able to get the plant down, so... Really solid hold here by Veritas, which is pretty much what I expected. Um, you know, First Cav is, is a, is a well-known esports name, but I don't know if they've ever really been kind of like the top notch. That being said, um, well, for objective-based games, um, since Quake Wars, but Veritas, a uh, very, very solid team. Um, I got a chance to, to meet them through actually Quake Live of all things. And it looks like their shooting skills are holding true. Uh, about 13 seconds as we wind this one down. Um, top of the charts, of course, are the medics. You wouldn't, wouldn't uh, expect anything less. But first cap was just not able to get anywhere near this objective, whereas we saw uh, Veritas able to complete the entire map. So solid work there. We're safe for now. Well done, man. All right, so best overall, we got Busymon, Soldier, Lalum, Medic, Busymon again, Engineer, Jones, Welsh, and most kills, Jonesy. Shows up again. So pretty much everything Veritas. Big fat plus one there. Solid. Oh, wow. Actually, first cav wants Veritas to attack first so that they don't have to sit for a 20 minute. Well, that's interesting. Um, technically, it should actually be first cav having offense. The better team wins. That's the whole point of stopwatch, is who can set times faster. And again, one thing I think that we've gotten away from, since there hasn't been a solid objective game out, uh, actually, yeah, it really should bo uh, boss rage, boss rage, whatever that is. Alrighty. So we are live with this uh, first half of the second map. It's going to be Veritas on security. Veritas, I think, considering uh, considered to be the better team here. Let's see. They were able to uh, set a time and hold it on the last map. So, yeah, this way will be better because the match will actually be decided. Finally, we're getting some sounds because we actually uh, stuck in the ceiling there for a second as we were using the, the camera. Oh, and I, f I forgot to reset my... Positioning for the free fly guys. Excuse me for a second. We already have a hat going down. Uh oh. Let me get there quick. All right. Yeah, the whole point of stopwatch is setting the faster time. It is uh, completely about who can set times faster, not just can you set a time period. And I think that uh, pub players and console players just don't have a concept of, of how it's supposed to be. Essentially. Maps are supposed to be won in about 10 minutes. A lot of action in your resistance getting shoved into their spawn, and Lolland is starting to hack again. Didn't even have time to take a look at the class loadout. I will do that as soon as there's a lull in the action. And it looks like through a little bit of flanking, it looks like uh, Napkins have been able to uh, pick up and recover, but this is the first even thought of a... Uh, of any sort of stop to the roll, and that being said, even Gera is up top trying to lay down the damage on Lambert, so really, really solid work so far. First cap, though, has been able to set up. Let's see, do they have a turret down? Where is it? Do they not have a turret down? Huh. Looks like they are turretless at the moment. Okay, so that's a, that's a bit of a blunder. You want that turret up, even though it's only level 2. It will assist. Busyman trying to push uh, non-CP gets pretty much blown away in the face, so let's try Ezekiel's point of view, see what he can put together. for Zeke to, to push in. Looks like he's waiting for the, the go-ahead from his team. Down he goes. He checks the corner. Gets shot in the ass, actually, and down he will go. Nav getting the kill. Uh, in on the objective, though, it looks like it's not terribly coordinated, that timing. So, move it off. Actually, Veritas doesn't even have CP yet. I want to say this is a health CP? I don't remember. I don't really pay attention to them much. The command post. I'm all about the objective. All right, we're gonna watch busy. See what he can put together. So 
Looks like a lot of cat and mouse around CP corner. Presses in and... Whoa. Saber from behind the belts. Almost getting a kill. Busy rushing in now. Down he goes. There's the turret. Wow, that's nearly a full respawn for resistance. That's kind of scary. Let's see if they can recover. I think they're going to get really lucky in that whoever... Yeah, that's uh, pretty much no hack at all. Although, yeah, here we go. Here's here's the security pushing in, and they will begin hacking. Lawlands back up. No give happened, so this is the first real attempt on this. They're already 50%. But this is the first real hole that they had on the objective. They duck for cover. Uh, Medic is there, self-buffing, and now they just pour out and... Good lord, can they kill off Navka? Yes. Yes, they can, but that being said, looks like uh, Muncie's able to finally clean things up. But man, this thing has got to be about 50% yeah, done. Probably a little bit more than that. Hope it's more than that. Oh my, are they leaving him up? Oh no, he finally respawns. All right, the so first cab is reclaiming. Question is, can they hold it? This next push coming in. Uh, looks like we've got Lolan coming CP side. Gara waiting for his call to come in from top. And oh, wow, we got a respawn. That's not good news. So this is a very disjointed push. They might be waiting for quite some time. So it looks like you got Ezekiel and Lawlin coming through. Uh, offensive belts, and they've dodged the mine. And sitting on uh, one of my favorite spots to hold down the fort. Although, yeah, you got to watch for that fire right there. Needs a little bit more coverage. That being said, he probably got a good 5, uh, yeah, maybe 10% hack in. Whoops. Oh, at least that mine won't be in his face later. <laughs> one, one thing to say about it, right? Now you can see Veritas is really just sort of like massively pushing this. They're not even like grouping up. They have their, their basic idea, but nice nade. And that's actually uh, Gara getting the kill. Saber picking up a pair, and we have Lawlin trying to uh, just tap the objective. Not very effective. Um, they've got to be at like probably 85, 90%. Busymon coming in. Can he clear the room, though? No. So, yeah, things are just a little bit off in terms of uh, Veritas's. Oh, two guys on CP. Going to reclaim it. Uh, Veritas has been a little bit sloppy with his objective, I would have to say. Lawland able to take down the belt coverage infanter. But a quick revive. Mutsy trying to get in and able to get the kill on Gera. So, we are back to... Uh, a very weakened push, I would say. Nice job trying to get Lala back up. The question is, though, how many pips does this medic Gera have as he pushes in with two? Uh, ooh, Nafka able to get revived from behind, but down he goes. Lala is back on the objective. We might see this thing completed. They're, they are stepped on a mine, yeah, stuck on a mine, able to remove it and get the hack done. So at least as far as progress is concerned, thank goodness, folks. Thank goodness we move on to the uh, safe cracking objective, or as I like to call it, the crake sapping objective. Because that's always fun to say, right? So, whoop, there we go. Uh, uh, okay. It's so annoying that I have to fly all the way over just to get here. Ugh. Okay. Whew, I'm out of breath. Welcome to the safe cracking objective. This is a uh, good times all around. It looks like we got first cab cleaning up with at least a pair. Uh, Ezekiel able to get infantry down though. And it looks like first cab will hold on to it though. Just barely. We got Lambert up top. Ezekiel and Busymon are down below. Oof. I lied like a flying motherfucker. We do not have this objective. Just trying to count up the names and all of a sudden two guys from Veritas come walking into my view.
But yeah, look at the the lack of um, over eagerness by Veritas. They really want to clear the room first before they start cracking the safe. So I, I really appreciate that, like that very much. First cab did not win Polish. I believe they actually had to use the last chance qualifier to get in. Looks like we got uh, we had a first cab not really given very often. Bit of a mistake, I would say. Pretty quiet out here. Lambert is taking in the sights. Uh oh. No, it's just me. All right. That was awesome. My entire internet connection went shit. Okay. All right, we're back in. And I need to find out. Whoops. Need to find out if... Uh enemy spotted. Yeah, I'm back up here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, my, my entire internet connection just uh, decided to reset. Not really sure why, but we're back. Good times. And, uh, yeah, so now I need to fly through all over again. Whee! Almost there, almost there. Oh, all right. Looks like we got the Veritas pushing really hard lower uh, offense, right? So let's see if they can make that happen. Yeah, it wasn't a power surge. I just uh, blame Comcast, folks. <laughs> so, it looks like Veritas is really trying to press one side. Except for Jonesy. Jonesy is trying to be a hero hold mode here. But I kind of like this. Um, I, I don't press uh, the, the top side unless I am on a pub, pretty much. I, 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 don't, I just don't press here because you just... You get your ass kicked by a sniper. If he's any good, you're going to be dead. So, first cab able to hold this down so far. Got all my VOD stuff up? Yeah, good. Alright. I'm going to check one more thing. Make sure this recording is still going. Alright. Just resetting all the... Streaming, recording, all that good stuff. It's pretty rare when I actually get disconnected, so. Want to make sure everything's up and running as it should be. Uh, you know, <laughs> kind of funny turret placement how there are very few good turret spots. I think this is literally here just as a doorbell. Uh, so that they can basically tell whenever someone tries to touch that side. That being said, here comes Veritas streaming through. And Ezekiel about to get tracked by that turret! Ouch. Yeah, he's gonna be weak as he starts this fight, able to take down infantry though. He is a medic, not an engineer. I have no idea what the progress is on the objective for us, even if I was here I wouldn't know what it is. Because, uh, there is no objective progress shown on the freaking screen. Oh, Ezekiel about to get double teamed, maybe even triple teamed, down he goes. Although Gera from behind able to take down Navka. A little tit for tat there. And we see, finally, a slight save crack. Gera able to defend at least one. The nades come in, though. Lalan uh, books it away, trying to find cover. And down he goes to Navka again. Uh, Jonesy, though. Look at it. Trying to toss in the uh, revive grenades. Not going to happen. So, 5.05 on the clock. Safe cracking extravaganza. Watch out for the nade. He runs away. He checks his flank and goes down. Down he goes. Ezekiel showing up late to the fight. Not able to get the, uh... <laughs> not able to get the revive he wanted, but Jonesy is here to continue the crack. 440. And I swear, I'd love to see this thing completed. Wow, no time to react there. Jonesy just continues the hack and... Until it was the last thing he could do. All in is in on it again. Look at this. Ezekiel's pushed up, covering here. We might see this thing broken into four minutes. 
In 22 seconds, watch out for the nade, man. Run! Yeah! Oh, I still got a little bit hit by it, but not too bad. Um, yeah, pretty good coverage so far from behind. Navka and, oh wow, all three from behind coming in. And it looks like First Guy will have an attempt to retake, to reclaim. But the question is, though, can the pressure stay up by Veritas? They've done a pretty good job so far. I'm going to see what their next spawn wave is uh, looking like. It's going to be pretty much low offense left for two. But, yeah, they're kind of disjointed now, so they got to be very careful. Yeah, very disjointed push here. I watched Lolan. Been uh, getting a pretty good amount of load torching on that safe. Oh, my God. You see that Navka? Just ate it up there. Gera, is one of the Gera and I think... Uh, Lawland were the only two to actually get kills there. So, pretty solid uh, repulsion of that wave. Let's see if maybe the next three minutes they can get this done. Now, the important thing though is that they have at least gotten the hack objective done. So, all they have to do is now hold for sideways 20 minutes, uh, hold off that hack, and as long as they keep him from completing the hack, then they are still considered the winners. Of course, this is the second map we already saw Resort get kind of rolled through. Lolland's on the objective again. Lambert's going to have to turn the corner and get the kill. There he is. And, uh, and sure enough, looks like Lambert picks up, I think, three there. So very solid work. Very, very good stuff. So. Give Lambert some cam time after that. Little extravaganza, 222 on the clock. Lolland's right back on it. Lambert needs to get the kill. Down goes Lolland. Very nice. Revive coming in. Lambert waiting. Uh-oh. Coming under fire, though. From afar, very nice. He's able to stay alive just long enough. Safe. Still uncracked. Falling apart, though. Oh, this is pretty... A pretty serious moment right here. This might be it where they get it. Oh my god, the nades just flood in. Holy shit at 140. That being said, Jonesy was still alive, still trying to get a get a uh almost had a hack, almost to get a cut into the safe. Really nice nade work. Ooh, look at this Gara being seen. Oh, doesn't doesn't check his flank though, getting shot in the ass. Oh my god, he's able to take down two. Can he get three? Holy shit balls. Great job, Garrett. Jesus. Jones is back in on it. One minute left to go. Can they get to the second objective? That will be an enormous bit of progress uh, since ESL rules decide maps based on which objectives you actually complete, not which ones you necessarily just get progress on. So they got 53 seconds. That's one more push. Time enough for one push. And gotta get it. It's gotta be good. Busybun coming in and clearing Ezekiel up as well. Although, oh my god, Mutsy. Mutsy coming in along with Lambert getting the kills. And this safe may indeed stay closed. So even if they're at that like 90% mark, it will not matter. All First Cav has to do is get past. Oh, they're able to open it with about 15 seconds left to go. Very nice. That is progress, ladies and gentlemen. That is progress. Good times all around. Well done, uh, brother. We did get the all the way to the safe crack objective, to and it was completed. So uh, I guess safe. technically we now got to the to uh, delivery objective action. or courier objective, depending on how you look at it. And this will be um, now in the hands of First Cav. They have to complete both objectives. Otherwise, Veritas wins the day. Let's take a look at the awards. Overall, Busyman Soldier. Uh, Mutsy, Medic, Busy one again, Engineer, Jonesy, Operative, Lawlin, and I missed you, got most kills, but, you know, we got a very quick turnaround with that, uh, 
scoreboard. So we're going to see the second half. This will be a 20 minute time to beat. However, uh, it is a requirement again that first Gav gets all the oh shit. First Gav gets all the way to this and through this safe cracking objective to have any sort of chance for a uh, showdown. So let me hop out, watch these guys as they pour through. We're gonna follow first Cav. Obviously. <laughs> I just like to say obvious things. Oh, nice nade timing, actually. Good lord. Fucking awesome. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Ezekiel, Kara, Lalan, Busymon, all getting kills. You get a kill, and you get a kill, and you get a kill. Wow, that is insane stuff right there. Uh, I think we can safely say. No early hack? Yeah, I, I think we can say that. Let's watch Lambert. I always think of Splinter Cell, Lambert, uh, who was Sam Fisher's handler. Now we've got time for mines and mollies to be set up. Oh man, it's not looking good. Nice positioning by Lalan. I might even drop behind that, to be honest. Ooh, he gets really aggressive. Wow. Yeah, I like, I like dropping behind that. Gives you a little bit of cover. <laughs> it does restrict your movement if you uh, want to leave a room, but... Eh, it's worth it. Yeah, that was, I think, the first guy to actually get in on the objective. So, kind of scary to think. Looking at the... What the hell? Jonesy, where's he going? Wow, Saber is hacking. Jonesy Walsh ran all the way up. Okay, yeah, there we go. I thought that was just a little itty bitty hack. Uh, Jonesy pushed all the way up here. Is he hiding behind the stairs? No, he's right in front of the stairs. But he did get a kill. Very nice. Or I got killed, rather, I should say. Does this look. It does not look. Um, <laughs> I, I'm asking questions as if I have a co host. My bad. Um. This does not look very coordinated. Yeah, does not look coordinated at all. Um, these are all single kills. Muncie's the only guy to really do any damage. Gonna be pulled down by Lalan and Gera. So, hmm, need to have a solid five, five, uh, five-man push. And again, coming away from this, stepping away from this box too far, you open yourself up to a massive amount of fire. Just coming out this far is enough to kill you. So you really gotta be very careful and peek. Maybe even lean if you're so inclined. Get it? Well, from non CP side, we have Navka thinking that he can slide through bullets, unfortunately. Or not. He said he's down and potentially able to be revived. Yeah, so pretty solid hold so far. No real touch. I'm going to take a look at the progress. Percentage is. Wow. It's not even blinking like red or orange or something. It's just the box is on there. That's it. Did not see that before. <laughs> Busy man chasing down kills. Kill stealer. It's okay. Nice Molotov to shut down any push there. And followed by, of course, a flash grenade that blind me, blinds me for about 10 seconds. Good time. First calf. Maybe pushing in on CP side, one going belts. And they're all dead. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, some for some shoulder cam action. We got a little bit of a touch on the mainframe. Let's see if I can get over that. No, nope, Resistance already cleaned it up. Never mind. I was hopeful. 
I was hopeful. Interesting. Class loadout change, so we have now two operatives for offense. Lambert um, as an engineer. Get those weapon buffs in. Or are they waiting for the buffs though? I only saw maybe three guys with buffs. Just based on the pace that I've seen, I would say no. That 17% though is really quite something. Yeah, to me this looks pretty uh, disjointed. Jonesy Walsh able to clean up pretty well. Oh wow, Lambert just rushing down in there with a silenced weapon of all things. And we're gonna get stuffed by two. But, uh, it did some damage. It's not the kind of damage that's going to keep them from recovering though. So that's kind of the problem I have. Oh wow, look at Jonesy. I'm getting like a champ. He's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Cause uh, look at that. Okay, let me let me hop over to where he was. Show you what he was doing. Look at this. Did you see what's in the background there? See what you can see? That's right. <laughs> With a pistol, you can fucking. I mean, he won't have the range, but um, you know, obviously, as guys get closer, you can get a count how many are coming. Uh, what route they're taking, so on and so forth. So really nice. Without ever exposing yourself to incoming fire. So, really, really good stuff. Yeah, and the guy's running a silencer for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, I don't run silencers. I think I have a silencer on one, like, uh, when I am, um, leveling up a, a character sometimes, I'll run a silencer if I'm gonna play, like, the campaign. It's like, I still like playing the campaign. It's still fun. But, um, basically I just play the campaign for XP, <laughs> so I can level up faster. And, uh, if you run a silencer, the bots are stupid. <laughs> so, you know, pro tip, if you want, if you want to confuse the bots, just run a silencer. Pretty quiet here. See if uh, first calf can get any sort of push. Looks like they are going uh, belts and non CP side. Not sure I agree with that. Oh wow! Surprised that Messi's still alive. Revive on Lambert, hopefully. Yeah, there. Oh, is he? Oh, he's just down. He's got knocked down and stayed down. Nothing wrong with that, that actually can be quite effective, you'd be surprised. But Veritas is completely having a hold on this thing, there's just no doing. Yeah, and that's why. Yeah, eat that ladder, thing, you bastard. <laughs> uh oh, wow, first cav and Veritas, both TK there. But Veritas comes out on top. Closer spawn, quicker spawn, good time. Well, I shouldn't say quicker spawn, but it ain't good. Oof. Yeah, Wallen well, should be dead with his back turned to the offensive conveyors like that. No offense, but you should be dead, man. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not good. If you're, if you're leading with your operative, you're not even tossing nades on turrets. And you just go, I'm gonna do it. Yay. And you're gonna be here for a long time. Okay. Who wants Navka? Give him some camera time.
for those that are asking about like the uh, the double drum mags and or whatever they are, the, the drum mags so you get extra bullets uh, in the chamber. Um, wow, God, Gara, Busymon, and Jones, they're all giving kills. Um, when you are, uh, you know, solid competitive player, you want to reload as few times as possible. Like basically, you're hopefully using your ammo conservatively so that you know, assuming that you're shooting properly, Don't using as, as few bullets as possible. And um, so you should be able to theoretically kill at least two guys on the one mag before you have to reload, theoretically. But hopefully you'll be able to have to, uh, able to kill three. But I'd say, you know, two's probably average. Um, and then compare that to you know, killing one, or maybe killing two, and having to, absolutely having to reload. This means you don't absolutely have to reload. And the other thing is, notice how uh, Stopwatch is played, where you're really just throwing yourself at the objective sometimes. So, you're going to get, essentially get a fresh reload just by dying and respawning. And it's only when you, uh, you know, actually hold the room when you're going to see all these guys hit reload. Yeah, we've seen a lot of uh, head to the wall concussiveness throughout the course of this last 12 minutes or 11 minutes. <laughs> Don't even need to pray. <laughs> Just pray. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at the progress of this objective because. Oh, yeah, painful. painful. That being said, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, we're going to not see First Cav get past this first objective, meaning that Veritas, just by virtue of getting, the, getting to the safe backing and, let alone cracking the safe, uh, they will take it and uh, earn the points for the groups. Again, this is a group stage, so... Um, losing here does not eject you from the tournament. It just means that you don't you don't make the points that you need in order to advance later. Wow, extremely aggressive move by Navka. It works out for him. From behind, though, can you get the kill? No, not against two. Let's watch Saber. Save or die. Inventor. Sounds like a transformer name. Inventor. Transform. By the way, a new transformer movie. Kind of curious. Is it going to go to Cybertron? I don't know. The high capacity mags are good, but you have to be, um, even though you've got a lot more bullets to play with before you need to reload, you do not have more bullets. So you still need to be really, oh my god, Navka, solid. Uh, well, I should say, Lalan, I should say, solid. Picking up three kills there, excuse me. Um, but yeah, you need to uh, still be conservative, because you don't get more bullets, you just get more bullets in the chamber. And uh, so you can still run out just as quick, and of course, you know, you, you'll probably find when you first start using it, you run out more because you're more inclined to, uh, since you're not reloading as often, spray a little bit longer without really thinking. Like, there are times where I will get the kill, like, literally on the last bullet of a non-drum mag, which is just basically me aiming poorly, but um, it happens. And it's a very weird feel to then go to the drum mag. I think probably out of these teams we're going to see everyone light. I have seen a couple of teams running uh, medium. Watch Infantor again. 
Yeah, everything I've seen seems to be light. And clearly we've got some sort of fun background noise. I don't know what that is. It's part of the map. Although, I think it is always fun listening to the sound in here. Because it's like really uh, muted and stuff. It's kind of fun. Alright, let's not watch Inventory anymore. He's got an annoying sound connected with him. Is Lalan? Yeah, Lalan might be medium. Let's see. No, I think that's still light. Yeah, I can, I can tell. Enemy spotted. Busy certainly is. Oh, I lost this one. Lalan was my bad. Hang on. Dang it. There he is. Alright, some busy money is for sure. Clearly a light. Oh, maybe that is a medium. That being said, we do have an actual hack on the mainframe. Let me go take a look at that. Multiple enemy spotted. Yeah, no. SMG in the scope, yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't looking at that, but yeah. I was, I was looking at the body. <laughs> that being said, of course, it is possible to um, exploit weapons, so that's never really, you know, a definitive way to tell. Medium has some muscles, apparently. I don't know. Honestly, I've been watching almost all light streams, and watching it in third person is kind of weird, so... But yeah, having that extra health might be handy. Plus the weapon choices, so. Saber trying to provide some support. A bit late to the party, though. Most people are dead, so as soon as he pushes in, he's going to die as well. Hi, let me wel welcome myself to Crossfire Time 3. Got it, guys. Three minutes. trying to say that uh, I'm not loud enough for the in-game compared to the in-game sound because I can turn myself up. Okay. So the in-game sound is good. I need to crank me. Yeah? If I can do that. Give that a shot. How's that? So let's see where we're at with this. Oh my goodness. Objective. Really nowhere. Veritas just continually repelling First Cav as they attempt to make their way in. Of course, at this point, they are just completely rushing. There's no method or madness uh, from what I can see. Here they come. Saber, can he flank? Ooh, I like this. I like this choice. Really? You, just, you step right on the mine there. Alright. Whoopsie. Right on and right off. Like a band-aid. So, uh, kind of sad to see, not able to get uh, past this objective, but it's pretty much what we expected as uh, Veritas has clearly uh, outplayed their, their opponents, and uh, even though they were unable to get all the objectives done on this map, they rolled resort quite convincingly, and uh, they will be uh, gathering their group play points. That being said, we have uh, another match coming up in about 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully, maybe they can even start a little bit early. I'm, I'm up for whatever. But um, yeah, it might be a good time, you know, a good time to get a little bit of a bathroom break, uh, refresh your beverage, and check out uh, the good times. That will be the final matchup of the day. Forty seconds remaining. As you can expect, medics are up top. Oh, actually, it looks like we had a switch up to a medic. Uh, let's see, what medic. So no soldier. 
Um, just to call out a few things that I'm noticing in the final 30 seconds. If we take a look um, at first cav, if I can get over to him. Oh, there we go. Alright, so here's Mudsy. Is his weapon buffed? I don't think so. 10 seconds. I gotta see, are these guys, yeah, they're, are they just stopping at spawn? Probably. Oh, whoops, too far. Yeah. Well done, um, brothers. The data is wiped I, I did not see, did not see uh, weapons buffed to their now, complete to put them into action. Uh, potential. That's a pretty huge deal to not have 17% damage automatically for every bullet you fire. So that's a bit of a mistake. Uh, first cab also uh, did not really have uh, solid coordination. Best overall was uh, Busymon, most kills, Gera, and uh, best engineer, Jonesy Walsh. Medic, also Busymon, so solid work there. So I'm going to get prepared for our next matchup. Give me just a second while I uh, get that sorted.